Crafters. This is Wednesday, November 20th, 2024. We are live here at the Steamboat. Uh, let me check this audio to make sure that I'm actually talking to you guys. Hold on. Testing. All right. So good morning, folks. Uh, we're going to, we're here on the Steamboat. You can see these black squares behind me, these rectangles. That's the stacks for stacking today. We're going to put stacks on the steamboat and hopefully uh, I can get it in the right place before the stream's out. So happy uh, Wednesday to you guys. Uh, still got this uh, flu bug. I don't know what this is, but hopefully it's going to be going away soon. It's uh, I'm hoping it's better than what it was. <laughs> I've had this now from over at least over a week. And uh, yeah. In, and it's spreading slowly into my <laughs> into my belly so it's like oh my god man uh and um yeah so here's a word word of warning to you guys if they offer uh flu shots go get your flu shots yeah uh anywho so i was actually on this thing yesterday um where's my bed at uh i was actually adding some more uh, wall to the nether hub and uh, yeah we might have to get some more of this blackstone for the stacks but um, we'll see what happens um, let me see if I can get some okay where is my ender chest hey like that I lost my ender chest oh no that's where my rockets are at. Um, <laughs> I know I have an inner chest over here. Let's see. You see these black squares right there? That's the stacks. I also went over to the... Um, Ocean Monument, where the Guardian Farm's at, and uh, <laughs> got some more. Um, Sabrina got some more. Uh, what what are those things called? Um, I'll remember it in a second. <laughs> um, these green, these aqua green tiles. Good lord. That's how bad my brain is today. Oh, look at that. Like two, two of those left. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What are those things called? Um, Prisma Marine right <laughs> i still got it it's still there um so i got some more of that so i can actually uh, add more dark pr prisma prisma marine try to say that when you got uh messed up sinuses um bada bing all right we're going to do the national day counter too let's uh go up top this way you get a better view of the steamboat well you know what you can actually see it from here Kinda. Let's see if I get my rockets up. And look at that red hair. There we go. Let's see if I can get up here, you guys can see from this vantage point. There you go. So what I'm going to try to do today is move those stacks. So I have the stacks in the back, and I thought that was too far back. And then I have the stacks in the front, and I think that's too far forward, like the three bears. And then the center is where I should put these stacks, and then we'll be okay. Now, I was going to make them a little bit wider, but then I was thinking if I make them too wide, then they're going to actually stick out <laughs> beyond. Uh, I might be able to make it maybe one more block thicker. I might be able to. 
and that should put it just at the uh, edge of that uh, top floor. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, let's go over the National Day calendar, and then we'll get these stacks going. Uh, let me check the body one more time. Nice. All right. So let's see here. Today is November 20th. And if you're born today, you share your birthday with the uh, Mr. Oliver Walcott, the signer of the Declaration of Independence. Um, Lewis Waterman, the inventor of the improved fountain pen. Uh, James Mary Spangler, the inventor of the Hoover Portable Vacuum Cleaner. And let's see here. Norman, oh, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, okay, well, Edwin, Edwin Hubble, the astronomer, the astronomer who discovered galaxies and the red shift, was born today, so you share your birthday with Edwin Hubble. All right, and cartoonist Chester Gould, who created Dick Tracy, was born today. So if you guys shared your birthday with that, happy birthday. This is also GIS Day, or GIS Day, I have no understanding what that is. So, Gist Day. Uh, on the third Wednesday in November, uh, Technology of Geographic Information Systems. Gist. I guess you pronounce it Gist, just Geographic Information Systems. Um, it's a data map that integrates location data with descriptive information. The system of mapping and, and analysis is used in science, in science and other industries. And also today is National Absurdity Day, National Education Support Professionals Day, National Peanut Butter Fudge Day, and National Child's Day. So folks, get out there, celebrate your kids while having your peanut butter fudge, and your educational support professionals, and absurds, and your guesses, and happy birthday. So folks, that's your National Day calendar, November 20th, 2024. Here we are. Um, I actually did go ahead and uh, did a Call of Duty stream Monday night. That was fun. That was interesting. Uh, once I start feeling better, uh, I think I'll be able to do more of those. But uh, whew, it's like a breathing thing, man. Because uh, I get winded. Uh, I don't know if this is. I guess it's kind of congestion, I suppose. But, Hold on. Good thing I got that mute button. Oh, man. Let me see if I can put this down here. All right. Um, I was trying to get these black stacks. But, yeah, I get winded, man, uh, with this stuff. So... Um, the Minecraft is not bad because I, I guess I'm not uh, looking out behind my shoulder waiting for something attacking me. But uh, yeah, because of that fact, it's hard to uh, when you got. When I'm feeling that. That hold on, folks. So, today is uh, also a maintenance day or landscaping day. So, I got landscapers here, and my little dog does not like that. So, when she goes off on a rant, like right now, <laughs> I'll pause this for a second because I don't want to compete with uh, talking with uh, while she's barking. So, um, I'm going to give this about five minutes <laughs> until she's done, and then I'll be back in talking again.
And there you go. We got peace and quiet again. <laughs> um, that little dog is only barely a foot long. And my God, I think her lungs are about like five times that size. But anyhow. Um, so yeah, I did the Call of Duty stream Monday night. It went pretty good. And like I said, because I'm not feeling the, my best right now, it's hard really to... Uh, do that again until I'm feeling better, but it was fun. I liked it. Um, and like I was saying during that stream is that uh, it's kind of good practice uh, for commentating on the fly. And I watched Stone Mountain 64 and uh, a few other streamers do it. And um, it's amazing because when you're doing Call of Duty, uh, to me, it's a little bit of pressure. <laughs> Where in Minecraft, I'm, I'm taking my time and thinking what I'm saying as I'm doing this. But when you play, <laughs> when you're playing Call of Duty, man, you, you're trying not to get uh, hit by other players or AI, and uh, to think straight at that same time, it's a little tricky. But I, I like the challenge, so that was it was fun. I like doing that. Um, but yeah. Oh, and uh, I guess I was saying that on Monday, too, that um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, I'm going to have to move this back a little bit, because I think this is still too forward, but let's see. Um, my hardcore world, uh, I, uh, I died, it was uh, World 7, so th uh, fr this Friday will be World 8, brand new World 8. <laughs> Uh, the pillagers got me last Friday, so uh, I'm going to have to, if I'm working on a pillager, uh, pillager fort, uh, to make like some type of um, scaffolding uh, between me and the pillagers. That way uh, I don't have to worry about getting shot as I'm building that place. Let me see if this is in a proper spot. If not, I might have to move this back up just a little bit more, too. Give me one second. And I should use these rockets because I'll run out of these three in a second. There we go. Um, yeah. So where these uh, ones are towards the middle, that might be where I might be putting the, um, yeah, I can make that little, nah, I guess that's good right there. Because if I make it too thick, then you can't, if you're walking down the side of the ship, you're going to run right into the stack. But uh, I think that's a good spot. I'm going to go with that. See if I can match it on this side. Been using a lot of my scaffolding, so I'm going to have to make some more eventually here. Um, and I'm going to go right to the edge, like right here. There we go. And spot it three by three by three. I just put scaffolding up. There we go. <laughs> the game is very intuitive. It knows exactly when to pause pause the game. It's amazing. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Fill that hole in. Um, put it, yeah, this, one more time, game look, does make sure that I miss that jump every single time, it's amazing. 
So again, like I was saying on Monday, as soon as I can get these, this, well, yeah, these, this steamboat halfway finished, I'll go ahead right over to that polar, North Pole City, and uh, get that going. Get rid of these. It should be in a good mindset for the, uh, for the dimensions of this upper deck. So I can put the pilot house on where the uh, ship steering wheel is located. Okay, that's that's not good. <laughs> getting a little wow, getting a little dizzy with the circle here. Let's do it this way. Guys, give me a second. I'm going to pause this until I get this stuff knocked out. Mute it, I mean.
so that looks pretty much right, I believe. I think that's a good that's a good spot for these stacks. Now they gotta go a little bit higher as well. Um, and then I gotta move the uh, pilot house almost into the center of the steamboat and then that should take care of the general outline of the steamboat. Let's see how high I gotta make these stacks. I gotta have to look at that video of Noxy uh, Noi XT1. Noi XT1. I'm gonna look up his video that way I can see for sure how high to make this. Bear with me for a second and I'm gonna So it looks like he did his about five or ten, I would say about ten maybe above uh, the deck here. Um, see if I can get my scaffold, I'm doing that scaffolding here. And I, I want to go maybe, okay that's like one block or two blocks. Let's go about another eight blocks up. One, two, so we're about five blocks up now. There's already two blocks up above the deck, I believe. Or maybe I was one. Ah, I'm losing track. My brain <laughs> at this point I am so exhausted, man. Um Two blocks, I did three, that's five, and I want to go about ten. Just do another five up, two, three. Um, the reason why I go three at a time, because that's as far as I can reach, I think, to the very bottom block from where I'm standing. That's three, another two more, and we should have it. One, two. I was worried if we're not going to have enough black blackstone uh, blocks, but I think we got it. Let's see how that that looks. Yeah, that's yeah, not too bad. And like I said, he added like um, a campfire. <laughs> In the top of that hole there, so that looks like when you get close, smoke comes out. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that'll work. Let's see if I have enough. Yep, there we go. Just in case. And scaffolding. So 
So we're going to do six. This, yeah, it should be eight. So we're going to go six and two. Eight. I'm going to mute this while I uh, do this. So he has that pilot house where the actual steering wheel is almost towards the center. So I would say maybe start building it like right about here, I guess, or take those planks out right about here. I got to get the dimensions of this thing because I not I had this all cut out from the stacks. So let's see. Should be right. Like that. Okay, we're back in business. And this was, I gotta see the dimensions I did with this. Um, one, two, one, two, three, hmm, one. One, two, three, four. So odd looking. Oh boy, I tell you. Um, one, two, three, four. I want to say five, but it's, I don't know, it doesn't look right. Um, try to see it like this. Let's see, how about that? That looks good. Try it like this. One, two, three. Let's go with five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Oh well, <laughs> it's close enough. Just like that. Let's see. Let's look at the black on top. Might have to go get some of those birch planks. deck into some a little higher.
Hey, Call of Duty. Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 32. Hello, sir or ma'am. Good seeing you here. Sorry if I didn't catch you uh, when you popped in. But uh, how you doing, man? Uh, thanks for stopping by. And hey, Call of Duty. I'm actually uh, actually streamed Call of Duty the other day. <laughs> so yeah, sorry for the pause here. Um, trying to grab a little sip of coffee. The next day, it's not going to be raining. I can also, <clears throat> anytime Minecraft uh, keeps giving you a couple of days of rain in, uh, in uh, one after the other, you can basically log off and log back on, and, and that usually takes care of the rain. Or <laughs> there's always that turning weather off. You know, that option too. We do have a new member uh, now. Since I did Call of Duty, Call of Duty on Monday night, um, I don't know if this new member is joining my YouTube channel because of the Call of Duty or Minecraft. That's why I should start another channel if I'm going to keep doing the uh, Call of Duty. But um, the new member's name is. God, God, give me a second. My laptop is not cooperating. Um, as soon as it comes up, I'll let you guys know the name of the new subscriber on YouTube. Oh, I'm going to need defenses for this. I wonder if I can go around. Oh, boy, that's going to be tricky. Ah, I can. I like that. Let me take this. You see, that's a little, that's a little odd. I could actually move this out. Eh, this is fine. That's probably why that one's too odd looking. Um, so the new member, let me see here. Is King Man Man 716. So King Man Man, you're gonna get a statue just as soon as I get back over there to uh, World Spawn. What I generally do for my new uh, subscribers or followers from Twitch, I give you guys Statues in my honor hall for being uh, faithful viewers. Let's see if I can put this down here so I can get some fences out and put that on top. And that should take care of the pilot house. The pilot house should be then finished. We basically fenced this all in from the top. make a conservative amount because I don't know I don't want to make too many I guess I do have to make too many <laughs> wow I don't have to be exact, exactly like Mr. Noise, but uh, this is reasonable. I guess what he did was he made it so the corners are a little higher, but the uh, ones on the side are looking forward. You can see out. 
Was that side did it? Um, let's see if I can do it like this. That way I can connect them like that. I wonder if I can do the outside. That'd be better if I can do the outside. So tight. Let me see. Um, yeah, there we go. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. That way I don't have to, I can take this away. You can see out. I can go underneath and put the uh, fence in. Well, I could do it this way too. Trying to get creative here. like that right Let's see, try to be uh, consistent as long as you get the outside face then it should connect that way um, go and connect it here like this like and I guess no not like that like that there you go All right I could do the again the outside face like that. Sorry for spin <laughs> spinning this thing around. Well, you can come over here you won't fall off you can see down I guess it's kind of like a crow's nest I suppose take the fly around and see what that's like there we go I gotta get rid of that back uh, flying bridge I don't know, I think I should make that a little taller. Maybe just, maybe that's just because of, yeah, I think it's just because of how high I was. Yeah, it's fine. I just got to, I got to bring it down below though. Yeah, let's get rid of the one in the back. I want to mute this until I get this done, guys, and I'll catch up with you guys.
I just realized I got it pointing the, the, the scoops the wrong way. It's kind of like swimming. When you swim, you paddle forward. <laughs> and that, I'm got the scoops going backwards. Maybe they're backing up. Who knows? Now I gotta point it forward. And if I do that, I think it's gonna be really close to the deck. Ugh. We'll see. <laughs> oh my god. It is what it is. It's a learning curve. I knew I had this really close to the deck, but eh, it is what it is.
Let me tell you something. <laughs> you gotta find that right spot to put these steps, upside down steps, or it's not gonna be flush against the, that one block. I noticed it's so crazy. You gotta put it in that one sweet spot or it doesn't give you that nice little cut underneath. But that's the idea. That looks pretty good. I like that. Um, I don't want to connect them because it looks kind of like spokes. It's kind of nice. I think if it is, is when I put it on this next one over here, that's when it's going to get a little goofy because it's right up against, straight up against the deck. Let's check to see how that's going to look. I, I don't know. Unless I somehow put it in a groove somehow. Usually how it turns out. <laughs> so what I gotta do is figure out which one is on. I think it's on like that. But I could I could do it like this, I guess. And that could I could get away with it. That, this, it's going to be really up against that deck, but you know, it is what it is, like that, see that's what I'm saying with these uh, steps, if you don't put them in that right spot, and you don't, there we go, it's like you have to put the crosshairs like right on that corner, or it won't work. That's kind of cool. Let me see if, hopefully it doesn't look ridiculous. Let me see. It's hard to see if I'm over here. Whoop. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> All right. It's, it's Minecraft, man. It's blocks, you know? That's pretty cool. That's what I was looking for. And I'm going to need quite a few blocks of diorite, I think, to complete this. But at least I got a starting, a starting point. I'm going to need probably a shulker with all the diorite in it. And then uh, go from there. Bundles. I love the different color. Color of bundles. Let's see. Take these, and then maybe take this. That way we can... I'm going to finish it up here, because, God, I tell you guys, I, you know, I don't know what this kind of flu bug I have, but... Uh, it just makes me exhausted. And I got sleep. It's not like I didn't get any sleep. I got sleep. All right, um, we're going forward here. I want to go on that side, get that finished. And I'm going to keep going, and then I'm going to mute this until I get to a nice spot, and then I'll come back in and chime back in. It's hard for me to talk, talk and do this at the same time, but uh, here we go.
Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to call it a stream here. Let me, uh, um, go. I like that, you know, the diorite accent to that. I might actually add some diorite to the uh, stacks, too. I like how that looks. And, um, it turned out pretty decent. I like how it's shipping up. Um, I'm getting pretty darn close to December, and I want to get that, um, North Pole City going. And, uh, yeah, I, want, I really like to get that new city started, guys. Um, it's a lot of these platforms put on there, so maybe next Monday, start that. Friday's going to be the hard part, the hardcore stream, so we will a brand new world. And, uh, hopefully next Monday, we're going to start that. Continue the North Pole City, so we'll cut the first time. But, uh, XT ones version of Steamboat, so you go YouTube and go Y X T I Steamboat on YouTube. And I Steamboat and you'll see his version of the Steamboat and tour of it. Steamboat Justice. Um, also, again, welcome to my new YouTube subscriber, Man Man. <laughs> man, 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 man. Monday King. Subscribe. Thank you. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. have a great Wednesday. Thank you very much for stopping by and checking out my stream. Let me know what you think and I will see you guys on Hardcore Friday this Friday. Have a good uh, Wednesday, guys. Thank you.